What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're finally going to be installing some new suspension. I'm very excited for this. If you guys don't remember, I got this from actually one of the guys who built the roll cage for this car, um, as well as got these wheels from him. So these should be able to lower the suspension. I think it's about like 10 millimeters, which isn't a whole lot, but I'm pretty excited because aftermarket suspension, you know, it's going to make a difference even if it's a little bit. I got these for an awesome price, so I'm really excited. It's not adjustable, which sucks. I wish it was, but um, either way, I still am really excited to put these in. So let's get to it. All right, we got the car up on all four jack stands. Gonna get the front wheel off first. Start here, I think it's gonna be probably harder, so I wanna just get it out of the way, and then, um, then we'll move to all the other sides. Thing we have to do, we have to get this whole top piece off, which is pretty annoying, and that means we also have to get the windshield wipers off. Um, luckily, it's just a little nut like that, so that shouldn't be bad. Getting them back on, I've heard some people had issues with getting them aligned, so hopefully, we won't have that issue. I'm not too stoked to have to deal with that, but gotta get this thing off so that way we can actually get to the strut tower. And that is what will allow us to actually get the whole thing out. All right, one thing I want to mention. In all the videos I'm seeing online, people were able to get the uh, wipers off very easily. I was not. <laughs> it really took a lot of going back and forth. But just going like this eventually does get it so I just realized I'm an idiot I mean what's new but basically um, in all the videos I'm seeing of people doing it to get to the strut tower they have to take off this whole thing and in order to do that you have to get the windshield wipers off however I'm realizing and maybe this is just a 2015 and newer thing but I could totally leave this top part off this bottom part since it's like two pieces that I can pull out and these are the three bolts right here, not that one, but one back there, for the strut tower. So, I don't need to get this off, which means I really didn't need to take the wipers off, which <laughs> means it's annoying because you have to, like, reset them, so I'm going to have to figure out how to reset it for the left one. But I'm not going to take this one off because I'm realizing it's not necessary. So, that was dumb. <laughs> right, now we got to start disconnecting stuff. Guys, this is absolutely huge to anyone who is working on their Focus ST and is trying to get this this ABS bracket. It sits on like that with this sway bar here. And it goes on like that with this nut here. So a lot of people on the internet are like, how the hell do we get it off? Because there's nothing really on the back because it's these bushings. So a lot of people were trying to use just some like vice grips and just clamp on the back. I tried that and that is just not a good solution. Found one video by a YouTube channel called TRQ. I'm gonna link the video in the description. But basically what they pointed out is that this is a five millimeter uh, Allen key. So what I did was I took an impact, I put it in there and then I took a 15 millimeter wrench for the nut and just kind of put it around it. It was not easy and I'm a little concerned about getting it back on just because this part looks like it kind of was stripped just because it's such a tiny little um, Allen key obviously, but that worked and it got it off, which some people were saying they spent hours and hours and hours getting it off. So I'm so happy I found that video. I'm gonna link it in the description. But wow, that was crazy. First thing we gotta do, there's this bolt right here that is just for the whole lower strut uh, assembly, I guess. I don't know terminology. But we're gonna take that out, and then what we're supposed to do is thread it in from the back side, but we're gonna put like a piece of metal or something in the middle to kind of spread it apart and that's what's going to allow us to pull this out. So I got to go find some scrap metal or something to, to put in there. Now that 
that this bottom part is loose, we have to get the three bolts. Oh, sh oops. <laughs> uh, um, we got to get the three bolts out here. I'm going to leave one of them in, but leave it loose so that way I can play with it because I basically need to fiddle with it <laughs> and uh, do that so that this whole thing can pop out of this. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Two of the three are out, but this one being loose. So now, should be able to play around with it until that pops out. Just a bit dirty. <sighs> I question my sanity every time I do one of these videos. New versus old. So these are actually a few years old. They've just been sitting. The old owner, Roy, he uh, never actually went around to getting them installed. So they've just been sitting. That's why they look dirty. But pretty cool just comparing um, for those of you who don't know what these are um, I guess these are actually an OEM option well, not option but you can buy it from like Ford Europe or something and it is aftermarket or it's not aftermarket but it's like added performance I guess because it's 10 millimeters shorter very interesting but Get this bad boy back in here, sir. It's either I deal with him here outside or I deal with him parking inside. There's no winning. Cody, no, god damn it, dude. Next up, Cody. If you can ignore Cody, we gotta get the uh, three bolts on top, bolts back in, and then the bottom bolt back in, and then just reconnect everything back up. And we're done on that side, so that's pretty cool. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh. Well, that's what happens when you over tighten. Ah, damn it. Right, well, I'm gonna have to take these other ones out, and I think I might have another bolt. Um, we're just gonna have to get the broken piece out of there. So, fun, fun, fun. Let this be a lesson. Do not use an impact blindly. <laughs> Don't just assume that it is supposed to be tight as can possibly be. <laughs> I feel like an idiot, but you know what? If this shows you guys not to do the same thing as me, then good. So, it came with a bunch of random bolts. I mean, I don't want to say random, I'm sure they all have a purpose, but I wasn't really paying attention to them so now, but. This is actually pretty cool because this is the um, original ones off of the uh, OEM stuff, and then this is the new one. So one thing I am concerned about is the fact that it is shorter and it's got this big hunky spacer that I can't get off. Um, so it is a little shorter, which is 
a little weird, but, like, I mean, I don't think they're going to be bad. And on top of that, like, they're brand new, which is cool. I think that's probably going to actually work out better anyway, so pretty cool. That actually, <laughs> maybe breaking that uh, bolt was actually a good thing because it's going to give me new hardware instead. So I'm going to do that and uh, continue the process. I got the top back on. So now all we got to do is remove this bolt because that was what's uh, keeping the thing expanded for it to be able to move around it. So I'm going to take that out and then put it back in the normal way so that way it's tight. And then reattach all this shenanigans and then we're done with this side. I have to do the other side but you know it's not actually <laughs> it's not that bad. It's really interesting guys because honestly like I gotta say when it comes to car stuff a lot of it is really really sucky um, and is not fun but usually it's the first time. The second time you do it seems to be better because you're like alright at least I understand what I'm doing so like I'm actually looking forward to the other side of the suspension because it's like okay I already did it once I know how it works should be quicker usually should be quicker um, so that's the thing with cars honestly I really think that more people should try working on their own cars a few years ago I never would have expected to be doing this even a year ago I wouldn't have expected to be doing this on my own because it's scary when you look at cars you see all this stuff and you see the, the engine and all these things you're like oh my god it's so scary but it's like honestly there's youtube videos for everything there's forums for everything you just gotta go for it and just try your best so it's good stuff guys oh guys i am a dumbass so got the new one in it was a pain but I was doing it and then I was like cool I'm finally done and then I go to tighten the lower bolt down here and I am once again messing things up because I snapped it again so really just angry and pissed off at myself and it really sucks <laughs> It's very disheartening because you're just like, dude, why can't things just go right? But that's cars for you. Um, I think I do have another bolt. I'm not going to mess with it now. I don't have a whole lot of time to do all of this, so we're going to move on to the rear and get that done and just figure this out another time. Luckily, I'm not in a rush. I am kicking myself, and I'm really upset, but... It's a learning experience. I'm trying to uh, have a positive mindset and we're going to keep getting things done. So on to the next step and we'll get it done eventually. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's the next day and I calmed myself down because I was, not, I was very pissed off. I was very angry and it was something that I am going to learn from, I'm going to grow from because, uh, you know, Things don't always go your way, and it's really, really frustrating when they don't, um, but that's working on cars for you. So now we're going to move on to the rear, uh, so we're going to get this going. It shouldn't be as bad as the front, that's what everyone says, so hopefully it'll be alright. Um, what we have are this actual part of the suspension, and then these springs. A bunch of other stuff in here too, so I just gotta see. I've got sway bars too. I don't think I really want to mess with them for now. Um, I know that the rear is easier than the front, but I don't have a whole lot of time, so we're gonna get that going, see how this side goes, and uh, hopefully get it done in a relatively short amount of time. So we gotta get this factory spring out in order to do that. There's one bolt right here that'll allow the whole thing to pivot down. I'm going to put a jack here to keep it compressed, take the bolt out, and then lower the jack so that it can come out. And that's really the only thing that's holding that spring in. Um, then from there, we'll get the new spring in, get the new suspension in, put it back all together, and hopefully it actually all goes well, so we will see. Alright, now we're going to lower the jack. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Alright. 
this is what we're replacing it with. So it says Ford on it, which is pretty cool. Cool that this was made by Ford, so. All right, so now, gotta repeat the process. We're just gonna have to use the jack to line up. So we're reaching an interesting development. I'm trying to jack it up, but the spring is so stiff that it seems to just be jacking up the entire car, <laughs> which is not good because we need to get that bottom part lined up so that we can put the bolt back in. So that's, uh, that's fun. So I had to make a quick pit stop at O'Reilly's to get a uh, strut compressor, the way it works basically. These parts clamp onto the spring, and then you use this to tighten it down, and that's just gonna, you know, compress it. Because look how close it is to getting in. It's just a little bit off, but the issue is because this new spring is stiffer, it won't go. Like, if I keep jacking it up, the car is just gonna keep going up. Like, it's already off of the jack stands, which is not what you want. So, I'm going to compress or attempt to compress the springs so we can get it just a little bit more in and then hopefully we can slide the bolt in and be good with it. Ugh, look how close we are. This is so annoying. We're almost there guys. I just want to get it. Oh my lord. Sweet mother of god. Why? <laughs> it's so close. Uh, guys, holy shit. The bolt is in, sort of. Is the closest I've gotten, and I just want to make sure it's actually going in right. All right let's check to make sure it's threading in, hopefully correctly. Oh my god. This has been an absolute nightmare. This is probably the most painful job I've done on a car. Oh my god, man. We got it. I honestly was about to give up. We have learned from the previous ones that we are not going to attempt to use an impact because that is stupid. It's in. Oh my god. Oh, this has been awful. This has been absolutely awful. I don't know why. I do this to myself. Holy crap. Well, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm exhausted. This has been, honestly, a stressful weekend. <laughs> I've been, honestly, focusing too hard on just trying to get stuff posted. And I think I've just become too obsessed with, oh, i got to make a video, i got to make a video, to the point where I'm just rushing stuff like this trying to get the suspension done, trying to get it finished in time so I can edit it and post it and be consistent with posting, but it's uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for my mental sanity. It, if I post something a little bit later than when I want to, I don't think that's going to be the end of the world. I'm realizing that I tend to get too caught up in things really easily and just get really obsessed and be like, all right, I got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. I need to stop and breathe. <laughs> I need to realize that it's all right. So I'm going to be gone all week uh, for work. So I'm not going to be able to work on the car until next week. But you know what? I'm going to work on it then. We'll get it done. This video is going to take a little longer to come out. But in the end, for my sanity, for the quality of the video, I think it's going to be worth it. So just wanted to be honest with you guys about how all this stuff is going down and it's tough. It really is tough, but you know, this is uh, the reality of trying to do stuff and make videos on top of it. It's, uh, it's not easy, but we're going to get through it and come out stronger and hopefully a little bit smarter. That's going to do it for this video, guys. We got a lot of progress done. It's just, it's hard. <laughs> I, what I was saying before, you know, it's it's not easy. It's definitely a struggle. 
Um, but we're learning. We're going to get there. So I really appreciate you guys following along. It's a work in progress. Got a lot of stuff to fix. Um, but I've got a lot of cool stuff coming too. I know these videos might not be the most interesting, um, but I hope at least for people who are installing the same products on their STs, this can hopefully help in the future um, to whoever may find these. Um, I do plan on having this channel be mostly about racing and my endeavors with that, um, both for the 24 Hours of Lemons as well as with the ST and trying to get my competition license. That is pretty much the main goal of this channel is to just have you guys follow me around as I try to get my competition license. It's a very tough process, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So that's why all of these videos have just been me getting the car to a suitable condition for the track. Once it is track ready, once the season starts, then it's going to be a lot of really cool stuff. Um, so I can't wait for what's to come later in this year. I really appreciate you guys sticking around because it's only going to get better from here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave a comment, like, all that jazz. That would be awesome. I really would appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching.